One of the things you find out is really difficult when you start making videos and you've been doing it for a year or so. is finding good spots to shoot that don't look crazy because we have children like right now playing around in the living room and that's okay but it's not conducive to like a, a video that people will watch and so we look for interesting backgrounds and we even tried to create a studio upstairs but it was actually dull not interesting we're working on that but then i saw a really cool video from diy creators i'm going to put that over me right now so you can see kind of what he did he made a video on how to create a portable wall and i have done a lot of woodworking i enjoy it and so i looked at this and i was like i could do that but we don't really have space for a wall that's eight feet by eight feet to use as a backdrop. And look at this. This is kind of like stuff we've got here and we can shoot in front of the computers over here and that's okay if we make it tidy, but it's not like the best. And also like we have to clean it up every time and then it's just the same thing every time. But what if we could make the portable wall the guy was talking about, but it takes less space because when I see a design, I think, how can I make that better? So I've been working on a way to make it foldable so that it takes up half the space except for the depth and if you want a corner of a room you can have that if you want something other other side you can have that and ours is a little bit narrower i made a few changes from his basic design but all credit to him for the idea in the first place i will link that below but we also needed a way that it can maybe like conceal some of this stuff sometimes because we keep having to break it down and that's a pain but we're going to figure that out and it's all going to fit when it's done right here covering very little of the whiteboard and still allowing people to get through to the bathroom because that matters a lot. Being able to use the bathroom is important. And we can still use our whiteboard and it'll have super cool LED lights. And I got these off of Amazon for $14 per set. They're 16 feet. Uh, there's gonna be little overhangy things that we can slide around and put in different places that provide cool backlighting. Lighting matters, not just like being well lit, but having lighting in your background really creates a nice effect and all the best YouTubers are using this to their advantage and we don't have that. We don't, we're not good at that yet, but we're gonna get there. So last night I went to Home Depot and bought a whole pile of wood and my wife maybe is gonna help me get that out of my car. Uh, thanks wife, you're the best. And I'm gonna build some stuff. Let's go. I bought this wood at Home Depot the day before I started building and I checked for straightness while I was there, but here's the thing. You'll find that with pine, the wood is never perfectly straight. So here I'm checking for the straightest boards so that I can use those for the verticals. Then I'm measuring out my first one and I'm gonna make a storyboard or a master board and use that to make the other cuts. Your fingers are actually more accurate than your eyes so they can feel when those boards are right up against each other if they're exactly the same length. And then just make sure the edge of the teeth of the saw are kind of kissing the blade as you go. And that's going to give you much more accurate cuts than just measuring each piece individually. And of course, Benjamin loves to see what daddy's doing and he thinks he wants to help until it starts making a lot of noise, but he has absolutely no problem asking daddy to play with some of the wood and take some of the scrap inside as toys. Here I'm starting to rip down some of the panels that'll be hanging on the folding wall because they were a bit too long. Here I am actually checking for square. Uh, measuring corner to corner uh, will give you a really good idea over the course of a long piece whether or not you're actually square. In the video that I originally got the idea from, he used pocket screws, Craig screws specifically, uh, and I love those, they're great, but here I just use some two and a half inch back screws into the ends and my son is trying to help me out here and give me some screws and with my knees being a little bit messed up it was actually pretty helpful he's getting to an age where it can be helpful to me these are corner clamps they're actually really great for making sure you're square in the corners as you're making some joints especially with this soft pine like this uh, white wood it's often sold as because it's just never perfectly straight and you have to kind of force the wood a little bit. My daughter wants to play, uh, but we were able to wrangle her back into the living room. Here I am 
confiscating our dining room table to lay out the backing for the panels that will be hanging. I'm just using some one by two strips here that I've cut to length and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue and nail them into the quarter inch underlayment that we're using here. I accidentally picked up a quarter inch uh, birch plywood sheet on the way out, but uh, the guy at the store had given it to me. So they were like, oh yeah, it's our mistake. They covered it and I didn't have to pay some crazy amount of money for that piece of plywood. But going ahead and nailing these guys in, making sure it's straight all the way along. And again here, uh, make sure you're checking for square as you go. So I'm just putting my big square in the corner there, making sure everything's squared up as wrong. Move it, fix it. Don't accept a little bit off in the corner because of the course of something that's almost eight feet long. It will mess you up. So again, just a couple of screws in the corners here. I did pre-drill all these holes. The stock is pretty thin and it's really easy just to split the wood. So take the time to pre-drill your holes. And then if you're shooting a video, guys, make sure you get all the steps, even if you're tired, even if you're trying to get through stuff and you're actually making good progress in the following steps after this clip, don't forget to film you putting the whole thing together. I haven't shot anything since I was cutting. Or drilling. <laughs> oh. We're so good at vlogging. <laughs> so bad at this. We're I've... so good at vlogging. It's been a long day. Maybe it's just because we've been sick. I put the plywood paneling. This is the back side. This is the back side. I'm going to show you when it's open. These are casters on pieces of wood that will act as feet, hopefully. Been fiddling with hinges trying to make that work. I'm going to add this guy. Yeah. Here I have got the casters on the legs and I'm actually using really basic like closet shelf brackets to give some strength on the back side of this. I would have loved to use them on the front side, but as you'll see, if you try to fold it together, that would stop that. You will from time to time hear, ah, from Benjamin. He does not love that sound. But here I was actually starting to get kind of impressed with it. I gotta say, it looked good and there was some work that had to be done, but wasn't bad. Here's a brace piece. We were putting that in to give more structural integrity to the wall being held up on the foot. You can see these arms hanging off on the sides. Eventually I put those on hinges so they could rotate. I can't <laughs> keep screws straight sometimes. So yeah, drill a hole. That'll, that'll be better. Okay, it is the next day, and I am still out of work for reasons of Rona, because although we are all feeling better, the health department has indicated that the kids can't go back to school until it's been 10 days after the initial symptoms started with the first patient, plus 14 days to make sure nobody else gets any other symptoms, so they cleared us for the third. We ain't there yet, so I've got about another week. So here I am, continuing a build. Let's get back to it. Oh, yesterday I finished the main structure piece of it, so here's that. Oh, and I hit the fan with it. And it folds, as you can see. And these things work great, except they bump. So I gotta make the legs go under each other. We have to work on that. Uh, we're working on that today. Uh, sanding later. But it is stronger than I expected. I'm probably gonna put a couple more nails in a couple places. I didn't want to glue this in case we wanted to replace the paneling at some point. But it's gonna be pretty cool. And I'm gonna go make the hanging panels now. Here's one that I've already mostly made, uh, as you can see. And that's basically what it looks like on the back. Wait, here's what it looks like on the back. And there's gonna be a whole structure on the top to hang them. And it's gonna be good, I promise. Let's go. 
Here you can see what one of the panels looks like slotted in, and this is the back side. Let me show you how I did that. So I am taking this LED tape, which was really cheap. I know it came off a boat from China, but wow, this stuff is really effective for what it was. I think these were $13-ish a piece. I'll link them below where you can find these in our Amazon store, because if you want to do anything to a room, this lighting's legit. Like, you can make any color along a whole wall. We have a couple of Phillips strips we bought for like 80-something bucks, I think, on sale a few years ago. And these can't do all the Wi-Fi stuff, but they're really, really impressive. This was a bad idea. I tried to nail the controller box in, but look at this right here. Look, slide. I mean, that's pretty nifty, guys. That's pretty nifty right there. The idea behind this is it makes it entirely modular. It can move around really easy. The other guy's big cleat system was cool, but this allows it to slide, which is better. And I'll show you even how it works in the corner. Here, my wife just wanted to show what a mess I leave when I do things. When I work on a project, you can be guaranteed, you'll know I was working on a project. And look, more wood for things, but guys, come on, that looks pretty cool, right? Okay, I probably shouldn't do that. Maybe we should do like an actual song and have some B-roll. Let's go! Oh yeah, and we added some screw hooks into the side so we can hang lights, or a camera, or pretty much whatever might be needed. In fact, on the back, we figure a really easy thing to do would be to hang a big draped green screen if we want to ever do some green screen work. So, lots of options here. On the front panels, we really wanted to have a nice neutral color. We went with a granite gray glidden color. It is really a pretty neutral gray, a little cool, but, but not too much. So you can do a lot of different colors on it. And this was Benjamin's first time helping to paint and it wasn't too bad. Hold on, bud. And guys, this is the finished product. You can see it works in the corner orientation. You can even hang the corner panel right there along the edge to kind of make it a seamless wall. You don't see the seams. Also, I cut these and put a hinge and bracket on them so that they don't take up as much width if you're in a short space like, like we have here. Not a lot of space, but this does great for a webcam view if you're doing a Zoom meeting or if you're on a call. And we even used it to shoot this intro for our new channel that's gonna be launching very soon. Well, we are pretty much just talking about nerdy things as you can see here. But if you or the nerds in your life want to support it, go on and subscribe over at OFB Tech on YouTube. You can also follow us at OFB Tech on Instagram or on Twitch twitch.tv slash OFBtech, but also, guys, just really lots of nerddom here. Of course, I can change these colors however which way I want to. It's a little hard to change them individually because they all work in the same frequency, but I can deal with that. I can manage. And there's just like so many different options for the way that you can color this stuff. I think we might put some different paneling on these hanging pieces, uh, but overall, guys, we're, we're, we're pretty happy with this.